Hi, I'm Gate Matarazzo, and I'm here with Playbill talking about Dear Evan Hansen. It's terrifying. <laughs> I can't lie. Uh, I'm so stoked to be back, though, uh, especially in a show I love so much, and uh, it's quite the challenge. But I hope it's the. Uh, I hope getting back on just reminds me of how much I I need this experience and love it so much. It gives you an opportunity to kind of understand the motivations behind why he's there in the first place. And a lot of people, like especially a character like this, it's easy to get lost in the getting a laugh or two in between these. The audience is, I mean, every time I've seen the show, if I look to, like, either side of me, somebody's weeping. Somebody's, like, not just, like, a couple tears, like, the majority of the time, there are people crying through the entirety of the show. And it's easy to look at Jared as somebody who can be like, bum, bum, here's a fun joke, and then leaves. But uh, there's a reason why he's important to Evan's arc. There's a reason why he's important to the arc of the continuation of the show. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's a character and a person who deals with and su and and suffers from what everybody in the show does. Everybody, it it in a way is a representation of, of of mental health issues and how people might deal with those in different ways. And uh, what a lot of people do, and what's very common, is they will uh, kind of deny their own feelings and own selves, and and they will. Uh, propel negativity onto others as to make themselves feel more important and uh, it's especially that it's, it's very clear that that's uh, Jared's relationship to Evan in particular it's the it pushes him down so he can feel like uh, he's uh, a little bit more on, on top of things I think that's kind of essential with the, with every character that you play I think it's impossible to really uh, feel like natural in playing a character unless you find parts of yourself uh, in them and uh, yeah, I think a fear of um, of really acknowledging uh, oneself and the fear of, uh, of acknowledging uh, the truth about yourself that you may not necessarily want to. I think we share that in a weird way, and I think uh, I think this production, seeing it, was a great way for it to be articulated to me for the first time about things that I was feeling without being able to really explain them to people. It's wonderful that I get to do that in this show. And doing it has really allowed me to go in depth about those feelings and, and really understand them in a, in, a, in a pretty profound way. I know what I, the story I want to tell. I know how I want this, I, I know how I want my Jared to be. Um, and hopefully some people uh, resonate with it. So hopefully some people uh, enjoy it, I hope. Uh, and I'm sure that there are gonna be people who uh, don't necessarily like this character, but I think that's in a way kind of the point. In a weird way, there's, it's funny to have a character that you're laughing at so much that uh, is quite clearly and presently like not making good decisions, and is, is particularly aware of that. 